You've got the skills, the aim, the reflexes, but your connection betrays you. Shots don't register, enemies teleport, and you swear the game is lying about your ping. The truth? It's not always your ISP. It's often Windows' network stack, adding unnecessary delay, buffering packets, and prioritizing the wrong traffic. In this guide, I'll walk you through a step-by-step -step network optimization setup for Windows 11, including hidden registry tweaks, power settings, and advanced driver options. Step 1. Why the Windows Network Stack Can Hurt Gaming Windows is built to handle everything. Streaming, file transfers, background updates, IoT devices, all at once. The downside? Gaming traffic doesn't always get priority. Packets from your game can be delayed by things like buffering and congestion algorithms. Good for streaming, bad for gaming. Background services constantly requesting network access. Driver level features that add latency for stability. Games need low latency, high priority packet flow, not bulk transfer optimizations. We're going to change Windows defaults to make sure your game traffic cuts to the front of the line. Step 2. Update and optimize your NIC drivers. Before touching registry settings, update your network interface card NIC drivers. Identify your adapter. Press Win plus X, Device Manager, Network Adapters. Note the exact model, for example, Intel i225-V or Realtek Gaming 2.5 GBE. Download drivers directly from Intel, Realtek, Killer, or your motherboard vendor. Avoid Windows Update versions. They're often generic and outdated. Pro tip. If you've upgraded your NIC driver many times, use Driver Store Explorer RAPR, to remove old duplicates. This can prevent Windows from randomly rolling back to a bad version. Step 3. Disable Interrupt Moderation Interrupt Moderation is a network card feature designed to reduce CPU usage by grouping multiple incoming packets together before sending them to the processor. While that's efficient for heavy data transfers, it adds a small delay that can hurt real-time performance in competitive online gaming, especially in FPS titles where every millisecond matters. Here's how to turn it off. Open Device Manager, expand the Network Adapters section, access your network card's advanced settings, double-click your active network interface, usually has Ethernet or Wi-Fi in the name. Go to the Advanced tab in the Properties window, disable Interrupt Moderation, find Interrupt Moderation in the list, then set it to Disabled. If your card also lists Interrupt Moderation Rate, set that to Off or the lowest possible setting. Apply and restart. Click OK to save changes. Restart your PC or disable and re-enable the adapter to apply the tweak. With this setting disabled, your network adapter will process each packet immediately instead of batching them, reducing input lag and making online gameplay feel more responsive. The trade-off is slightly higher CPU usage, but on modern systems, it's usually negligible. Step 4. Enable Receive Side Scaling and Processor Affinity. By default, many network adapters funnel all incoming network packets through a single CPU core. Receive Side Scaling, or RSS, fixes this by distributing packet processing across multiple CPU cores. And here's how to enable and tune RSS. Open Device Manager. Go to the Advanced tab. Find Receive Side Scaling, or RSS, set it to Enabled. Adjust RSS queues, Intel NICs. Enabling RSS and tuning core affinity ensures your network load is handled more evenly across the CPU, preventing a single thread from being overwhelmed and giving you smoother, more consistent online gameplay. Step 5. Registry Tweaks for Gaming Network Priority Open Registry Editor or RegEdit and go to Set Network Throttling Index equals FDWord Hex this disables network throttling. Then go to Set GPU Priority equals 8 D-Word. 
Priority equals 6, D word. Scheduling category equals high string. This forces gaming-related processes to get top priority for network and CPU scheduling. Step 6. Disable Nagel's algorithm for lower ping. Nagel's algorithm batches small packets together to improve bandwidth efficiency, but that delays game data. In RegEdit, find your active adapter by matching the IP address shown in IP config all. Add D word TCP act frequency equals 1. Add D word TCP no delay equals 1. We start your PC to apply. This reduces TCP acknowledgement delays, improving response time in online games. Step 7. QoS policy. Prioritize game packets. Open the local group policy editor. Press Win plus R and type gpedit.msc and hit Enter. Navigate to the QoS settings. Go to Computer Configuration, Windows Settings, Policy-Based QoS. Create a new policy. Right-click Policy-Based QoS, then select Create New Policy. Give it a name, e.g. Game Priority. Check Specify DSCP value and enter 46. This corresponds to expedited forwarding, a high-priority tag recognized by most modern routers and switches. Leave the throttle rate blank unless you specifically want to limit bandwidth. Target your game's executable. Choose only applications with this executable name and enter your game's .exe file, example csgo.exe or valorant.exe. Finish and apply. Click through the rest of the wizard and finish. The policy is applied instantly, but a reboot is recommended. Extra tip. If your router supports QoS or traffic prioritization, log in to its admin page and set it to respect DSCP tags. This ensures your 46 marked packets are truly prioritized from your PC all the way to your ISP, reducing lag spikes when your network is under load. Step 8. Optimize power settings for your NIC. Even if your CPU is set to high performance, your NIC may still sleep. In Device Manager, NIC Properties, Power Management tab, uncheck Allow the computer to turn off this device to save power. This keeps the NIC awake and avoids packet loss when waking from a low power state. Step 9. Router and ISP Layer A fast PC setup won't help if your router and ISP are bottlenecks. Use Ethernet over Wi-Fi for stability. Update router firmware. Enable QoS at the router level. Avoid double NAT. Use bridge mode if you have multiple routers or modems. If you have to use Wi-Fi, choose 5 GHz over 2.4 GHz for less interference. And that's your 2025 Low Latency Network Stack Setup. By disabling delays in Windows Network Stack, prioritizing game packets, and removing driver bottlenecks, you can turn a jittery connection into a smooth, responsive one. Combine these with a clean PC and stable router, and you'll be ready to compete at your peak. If this helped, drop a like, subscribe for more real performance guides, and comment with the next tweak you want me to deep dive into.